to Minecraft Dad. Right, today we are doing a digital counter or digital timer, whatever you prefer. Um, now, as you can see, it's counting up nicely. With a nice little animation in the background, which is very pretty as well, isn't it? The sunshine rising up and now. Now, uh, essentially, this works all with the magic of piston memory arrays. Now, I thought this was a bit with red, combined, that combines redstone and command blocks. So, right, we'll see what we mean by when I talk about piston memories. I'll just explicitly explain how it works. Now, if you look at this monstrosity, it's a, over a decade year old Minecraft design for a digital clock, an in game digital clock. So, there's a switch, a clock mechanism here that turns the thing on. Right, power it on and off quickly. Right. Now, this is essentially it's such an old design, it doesn't work anymore, it just glitches like hell. So, it's all out of sync. Displays aren't displaying it correctly, which is to be expected, but I don't need this to work correctly just to show here the principles of how the system works. Right. Oh, God, that looks horrible. Right, let's go around the back and show you how it works essentially. Now, it, there's four of these piston arrays, and they're all linked up into these displays, visual displays. Now, as you see, they, the one on the left is going around at a pretty even rate. There's a carry out signal at the end of the last chain which carries across into the next piston array, into the next piston array, into the next piston array. Just program them in with the glass blocks. Now whenever there's a glass block, there's the signal is on. And when a, a solid block goes across, it cuts off the signal. Now that either that inverts and the blocks in and out. Now here we are, there's just a piston array that's not plugged up or programmed in any way this is all solid blocks you switch it on and you can see those pistons are cycling it around and those carry out signals there you can hook them up to pretty much anything now you know they hold quite a lot of data as I said it's 10 lines long and each section contains 8 bits of data and I've got a nice switch in the front when I hook it up eventually to the rest of the stuff at the back here now here we go <coughs> show this works now that section of cat glass uh, command box there that close that controls the animation there with the sun every 10 seconds that will cycle on and off so there's a green space there where a command block where a red stone block will just spawn in so this is the section with the animation so 10 second chunks just cut command blocks just essentially clone the commands into that position here we are so this is pretty much working I've customized this for 10 lines and 10 bits of data so every second one of those redstone blocks fires off into those command blocks copying essentially a number which I'll show you now see so look at one two three four five six seven eight nine zero so it just copies and pastes it into that end section there and as you can see the 10 seconds are going up now there we go there's a bit of a lag on the system so just bear with me right there we go so essentially every 10 seconds it will fire off the next one to the left and then the next one to the left when so that's going to be going to go up by hundreds and then the one at the end the very end is going to go up in thousands so here's my there's the four arrays so every ten, well, after every 10 seconds so that will daisy chain that off that so that fires that up and that every, that will slowly get work its way up to nine and when it gets to nine it will carry out to the next one so it'll go up by, so it'll go up in thousands then at the very end so we are, we just carry it off over to 2000 now. Now, as I said, this thing will go up to 9999 and then it'll just reset it all back to the zeros at the end. Pain in the ass to actually program and make, but 
and it's got a nice effect at the end, I think. So it's a much more stable, like that clock, it doesn't work anymore. So I think that's far better than that over there, which is, as I say, over a decade old. All right, just gonna switch this off. I think I'm gonna hook it up to the front, but I won't do that today. Right then, guys, that's it for this week. All right, let's cut that off. And we'll see you in the next video.